Hi guys, welcome back to Pierre Haché Music. Today I'm going to go over five ukulele technique mistakes that you might be doing. And if you can correct these and keep these in mind while you practice, your sound and your technique will vastly improve. So stay tuned. <music> Now, these are inspired by some of the technique pointers in my new book, Ukulele for Beginners and Beyond. You've probably already heard me talk about this book. I'll be shouting it from the rooftops. It's the best beginner ukulele book out there. You can check it out with the links in the description. Check it out on Amazon. Grab your copy. While you're down there, if you want to take a second to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned to all my latest content, smash the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And you can check out my Facebook group, beginner ukulele videos, subscribe to my email list where you'll be the first to find out about new books, videos, and special offers. Okay, thanks for bearing with me. Let's dive in. One of the first technique mistakes that a lot of people make while learning the ukulele is to not place their thumb in the right position. Some people will have it sticking out over the top and pressing more with the palm where they feel they get a better grip at first, or some, yeah, especially young kids I'll find will have their thumb sticking out below here, underneath the neck. So both of these are kind of a no-no. Unless you have some pain in your thumb and you have specific issues that you need to address, the best technique for learning and for as you progress to more advanced stuff too, is to have your thumb in the back. It might be peeking up above a little bit, but it should be just about in line with your middle finger. And this allows you to place chords, all kinds of chords, with a good grip using the tips of your fingers. So if your thumb's a little lower, it kind of lengthens your fingers and makes it easier to get a good sound. So it can be tricky at first, but you want that thumb to be pressing towards the middle of the neck, maybe a little two thirds of the way up. The next common technique mistake is to be kind of smashing your fingers and not pressing with the very tips. You absolutely want to press with the tip at the tip of your finger. So if you're doing a G chord, for example, I'm really using the tips, lowering the thumb helps, and then doing this. If I do this, I'm losing some of the notes, right? You don't want to mute adjacent strings. So make sure to use the very tips, the very tips of your fingers. My next tip for you is you want to press firmly between the frets, between the metal bars, but towards the side of the sound hole. So you'll actually get a better sound if you're here, on this side versus here, okay? It makes it easier to get a nice clean ringing sound. So if certain chords aren't sounding good for you, you're getting a bit of a buzz, scooch over just a few millimeters, makes a difference towards the side of the fret, the side towards the sound hole, this side here, not here. And it's easier to get a nice ringing sound right there. Okay, another technique mistake to avoid is a common one. You don't want to grip the ukulele with your fingers. This really limits you. A strap can help. Straps are great. I'm, I'm not in the habit of using one. I like to just hold it up like this, but you want your wrist to be free. So if I'm gripping it with my fingers, my, I'm really limited for strumming. Some people will do this if they're playing single note stuff, but then if I'm going to strumming, I'm not as used to that. You want to be free. So if I'm playing single note stuff, you want to have still the freedom to, to strum, okay? So don't hold on like this. Develop a free wrist, floating wrist, and you should either be holding it up with your forearm, okay? Or using a strap, hold it up nice and high. Support the ukulele that way, not with the fingers of your strumming hand. Okay, I got one more tip for you and then a bonus tip. One of the most important things while practicing, and this relates to how, how you hold the ukulele too, is posture. If you're sitting up straight, okay, a music stand can really, really help for this. You'll be more focused, you'll be able to last longer, it won't be hard on your back, and it's just a good habit to make everything line up, sound good, and feel good posture, sitting on a sturdy chair. Right now I'm on my couch, but it's, I'm sitting on the edge of it and sitting up straight really, really helps. So think of your posture when you practice. Okay, one last bonus tip for you guys. 
you want to play with loose a loose wrist especially in the strumming hand okay so your left hand or your right depending if you're right or left handed your pressing hand should be relaxed and only pressing as hard as you need to to get a nice sound but your strumming wrist really you want it to be loose okay you really want to loosen up that wrist so it's not just a <laughs> if you're playing with a stiff wrist and moving more your forearm it really affects the sound so loosen up that wrist a simple exercise like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and just eighth notes down and up is a good starting point for many strumming patterns count along and have a loose wrist Okay, thanks for sticking around, guys. I hope you got something out of this. Comment below which tip you think will help you the most. Are there any of these kind of mistakes that you tend to, that tend to creep into your practice? Check out my new book, linked in the description. You can also check out my website, my Facebook group, my email list. I really appreciate the support, guys. Subscribe, smash the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.